Hi, I'm Evan, and I'm here to teach you, along with Travis, who's behind the camera. <laughs> I'm here to teach you how to do a stand-up 180, and we're going to do it in two parts. Part one is what we're doing right now. Part two is coming later. Okay, so equipment you'll need for this trick, the stand-up 180, is mandatory. Always wear your freaking helmet. Don't Always. die. Always. And then another mandatory thing you'll need is your longboard. Also, have a wheel that you know is nice and slidey, and that will give you the slide that you want. And then, something you may want, just in case you fall on your butt, this is helpful, wearing your slide gloves. Okay, now we're going to learn foot placement, and this, we're going to do regular stance. So, this is your front, your left foot forward first. So what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to use this meaty part of your shoe right here, and you're going to want to hang your heels off about like this so that you can really push with your board right on your heels okay so your stance you're going to have your feet about shoulder width and you have your heels hanging off and so you're going to want to get a good amount of speed this is a little bit too slow but you're going to be going like this and you're going to want to crouch down and it's best to just start Put your hands back here so that when you spring up, you swing your arms up like that. And you can over exaggerate a little bit at first just to kind of get the feeling of it and be able to actually pull off the slide. So to initiate the slide, you've got your all twisted up and ready to go. And what you're going to want to do, first you're going to take a sharp toe side car, not too sharp but you know, getting over there. And then you're going to go hard on your heels and you're going to carve. And then once, once you get about there, you're springing up and you're going to want to have a lot of your weight on your front foot. And you're going to push with this foot. With your right foot, you're going to push it. And in the process, you're going to want to be lean back a little bit so that you can really put a lot of force behind onto the board through your heel. So when you're first starting, you may get to about a 90 when you're doing your car and push, which looks something like this. You'll be going along and you get about there. Now, there's like two reasons why this might be happening. One, you're probably not getting enough speed. You need to get some more speed to be able to keep that turn going because the speed is going to get ground off from the friction in your wheels. Second reason is probably because you're leaning forward too far. Like that. You want to make sure you keep leaning back but not too far to where you're just going to fall on your butt. Sucks. Okay. One of the most important things because your wheels are going to go it's going to suck and it's going to slow you down more. What you want is a nice a nice clean slide and then you'll get that over time. More practice. But what you want to do is when you spring up, it's trying to make you kind of lightweight, light as a feather. You know, flying like a bird. And when you do that, it's going to let the wheel just glide over like butter. It's going to be awesome. So it just slides, pivots around like a boss, like that. Okay, so now we're going to demonstrate the full steps for you that we've shown. Okay, so first foot placement. Get your feet, shoulder width, heels hanging off, all good and golden. Now you're going to go, you're going to be getting all strung up, woo, like this, you're going to start going fast. And you're gonna... Now for some examples. Part two sample, holding out your standing. Oh, nice. <laughs> He's scared of it. <laughs>